guys welcome back to another video as you've seen on my instagram if you follow us on there i've been trying to do the french 3d rose thing that's all in the trend at the moment i've tried with gel polish i've tried with the builder gel i have also tried with the color changing gel polish but this time i'm going to do it on just this nail tabby thing you know what I mean mine's gone blank nail stick thing but this time I'm going to be using my hard poly gels I've got a few here just because I'm running out that's all so that's the three different ones I'm going to be using <coughs> but this time instead of using gel polish I am going to paint the bottom with gel polish but to do with the flower, I'm going to see what I can do. I might use all these, I might not. See what I can do with the acrylic paints. And I've got to touch away too, just to lighten them up. Now, I'm not using my nail brushes for this. I am using my art brushes that I use for my art. Because I don't want them getting ruined. Um, so... Keep on watching if you're interested and don't forget to give us a, a thumbs up. Give us any advice if you want, I don't mind. So I shall get back. So I'm just going to use one of me, my Allen Bell Changeable Child Polish. And I'm just going to do one foot coat of that. Actually, I'm going to do two coats. Hands a day. It's sunny the day. It's really nice. So I just cure that. <coughs> also got a little bit of bling. I'm thinking about putting a little red, little red diamond in the centre. Maybe some of them little tiny beads on the outside, I'll see. It's gone yellow. <laughs> Gel brush, slip, slip, shit. I'm just put a tiny bit on because I'm going to be putting a gem in the middle of this. Mm. 
The stage would want it too high. me.
I don't know if this is going to work. Up here. I've changed my mind using the acrylic paint. It goes on too streaky. So I'm gonna use the gel pots. See if that goes on better. Let's see what it's like. Really streaky. Didn't like the effect it was doing. I'm gonna give it another coat of paint. So I should have painted underneath. Don't think this one is going to work, guys. I just start speeding the video up just so you aren't watching through hours of. Me constantly doing the same thing over and over again. So I thought I'd just speed through some of the stages and then you just gotta see what I'm doing. Okay. Hope you're enjoying. <laughs> Once I've been watching, you can see the effect straight away, so I'm doing something wrong. The first three tries I've done, I just built it up and built it up, and it was like huge. And it's a lot of product, just sandbags, it was a lot of waste. So I'm trying to make the 3D French effect where they just paint like the walls and underneath. I don't know what I mean. All the way around. That should work, but I just can't seem to be getting the rules are really good. I'm not good at doing roses to start with, so end up with something. Right, I don't know, but hey ho. And I think we should speed up a bit, just so you aren't sitting through hours of me putting bits of gel around it. But as you can see, I'm just building up the gel, going around the outside, trying to make like a petal shape, and then painting that outside. And then once I've done that, go on the opposite side. So basically, you're building up each petal. So I hope you get what I mean. Let's we'll speed through this. Add another petal and once I've added that on that side I'm going to cure it and then you add your layer of polish gel polish acrylic whatever you're using so just like how you would do the 3d French you're just painting the wall 
I'm making sure the top of it's like still see through so when you're looking down you can see all the lines that leaves behind when you come to sand it this does turn out absolutely beautiful i'm so proud of this one so i'm gonna keep watching and see what it turns out really really nice if you've been on my instagram you would have seen it on my instagram but if you haven't you'll see it at the end of this i loved it it's really really nice thinking about doing the one on my nails oh. Hope you like. Keep watching. So here you can see I'm building up around the sides. It's starting to look a little bit like a rose. So at this stage. I should have sort of built in the walls going on a slope. You gotta keep going straight. So if you're going to recreate this, try and make them sort of go on a slope so you get that kind of like overlay effect. So that's what I'll be changing the next time I try to do this. Definitely go on an angle as you get a certain width out. So yes. I'm gonna speed it up. So this won't have to sit for ages. I'm sorry it's a long video. But it did take a while doing each petal and how to care and then putting gel polish. So please bear with me. Thank you.
Pipi, what you after? What you after? Hey, what you after? Hmm, Yangi, what? Tell mommy. I love you. Hey, mommy's girl. Okay, you're my girl. <laughs> and you too. You're my girl too. Yes, I love you too. I do. I love you. <laughs> Sand it. I want to sand it off. Get me a file out. It's a bit noisy, so I'll do it off camera. And I will be back. So, well, I can show you what I've done. I'll try that a bit on camera. Really hot if I lady like this. <sighs> Need it free pad gone. Well, not lint free, it's a cotton pad, but you know. I can't see my diamond in the middle. Going too high. See it a little bit. Let's see it once I get the top coat on. 
I'm gonna open that. all the different layers <coughs> you can see here where it's sort of taken the rest of the paint off so I had to sort of like made it up in a lip so then let's took off the outer of the lip <coughs> By it, I sort of going on a on an angle on that ones there. Then it's going straight down, and these ones sort of going on a angle. If you look closely, you can see where I'd ever put the the red between that leaf. Let us know in the comments below what you're thinking anyway. I'll try and hold this and I want to put my top coat on. I know it's gone. Put my light on now. I won't make tea. Mm -hmm. There we go. Where's me? This one's my fourth one I've done, so let us know in the comments what you think. Absolutely. Each and every layer. <laughs> it must be first. I was getting there. I mean, the diamond in the middle. Mm -hmm. That one's me. Second one. Okay. Wasn't that much definition on that one, no. Little bit up there, not much. And then, um, apart from that, there wasn't that much on that one. Because I made it when I was the one anyway. And. <laughs> Was the one that I done last night? So you've got to just just stop to get the layers there. I should took my one back. Not the very first one in there, a bit further back. But I was getting there. So I have a proof 
quite a lot. I'm feeling rather happy with them. First one, no. Yeah, first one, second, third, and last one, a fourth one. So definitely getting better each one I'm going.